thanks for tuning back in. I am joined by Keen Dow, an impressive teen from Winterville who has who was honored by the Prudential Emerging Visionaries program for his leadership. So welcome to ENC on three, Keen. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Of course, and congratulations. I want to dive right into how you're using drone technology to help reduce pollution. Tell me about your initiative. Yes, ma'am. So Environmental Droners is an initiative where we combine the use of technology and the environment. So we have drones film polluted areas, like such as streets, waterways, and ditches, and then we take this footage and post on social media to spread awareness. And we have done some international work as well. We're trying to make involuntary drone clubs in Spain and South Korea. And we have an international database for users all over the world to help help us deal with this pollution crisis. Yeah, so mainly focused, or at least started in this area, but you've expanded, you said, to other countries as well. But environmental droners is, uh, drones, right? Environmental droners, and I'm saying that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you're filming footage with these drones, and then you're posting it online. Yes, ma'am. And it's getting a lot of traction? Yes, ma'am. So we create cleanups using this footage, so we contact a lot of environmental organizations in ECU, and we've had some very successful cleanups. One of our biggest ones was uh, consisting of about 200 people, and we cleaned wow. up about 5,000 pounds of trash over the course of environmental droners. So yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's really cool. So tell me how you thought of the idea of environmental droners. You noticed a problem back in the pandemic. Tell me about that. Yes, ma'am. So during the pandemic, a lot of companies, especially restaurants, have gone to a takeout form. Yeah. And this increased the amount of plastic and styrofoam pollution. And so people, when they have this, they don't want to throw in the trash. They're lazy. And so they throw it outside right. their windows. And then there's a bunch of trash all over our, our town, especially. And by seeing this, I collaborated with my co-founder, Snook Yoon, and my mentors, Dan Sokolovic and David Yoon. Yeah. And in doing this, we have been able to create a project to help reduce the amount of plastic pollution to spread awareness about it. Yeah, you saw a problem and you didn't just complain about it because it is frustrating when you're driving behind someone, for example, and you see them throw something out the window of their vehicle and you said, I want to do something about it. And so you were chosen for this award and two separate awards, actually. So you have a total of $10,000, right, to work with. Yes, ma'am. Are you putting that back into this initiative? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're using the $10,000 to buy drones for the kids in Spain and South Korea so wow. they can start their own projects. And then we're using the other additional funds to help jumpstart our app and other adventures that we want to follow. Okay, so what do you use the app for? So the app right now is a database, so it's a website, but it, the making it into an app is in consideration right now. Okay. Um, so on the database, we have individual users all over the globe where they can take pictures on their phone, wow. post on a social, onto the uh, database, and then they can use this footage or the pictures to go to local organizations or government to have more representation in their neglected areas. Yeah, so once someone sees that picture or that video online or once you see it through your app, you then try to organize people and get them together to go clean up those areas? Absolutely. Okay. But at the same time, the app is or the website is trying to encourage people to go on their own and to... Mm, to like, clean up themselves? Absolutely. Oh, very cool. Okay, so what's next for you? You've already done some huge things, and you said you're putting uh, your the money that you won back into your initiative. Uh, anything else that you have in the works? Uh, as of right now, we're trying to make um, involuntary donors bigger than locally. Okay. So by expanding into Spain and South Korea, we're able to expand our impact. And at the same time, by using our international database, we're trying to involve users all over the globe to help us solve this pollution crisis. So now it's becoming a global effort, not just my effort. Yeah. And why Spain and South Korea? Um, so I got into a stalling uh, an international organization okay. where I was able to meet 50 50 other leaders all over the globe. And so through this, I was able to meet someone named Jennifer Richmond, who has connected me with people and kids especially to expand this project. Awesome. Well, if you want to learn more about them and their efforts, uh, you see that Prudential website there. We have a link to that uh, through our website, WITN, as well. You can learn more about their program and learn more about Keen's initiatives and kind of the inspiration behind why he wanted to do this. Thank you so much for talking about this and, of course, uh, your efforts to help make us live in a be more beautiful community. Thank you so much for this interview and thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Of course. Well, we have more great stuff coming up on ENC at 3. We'll see you right after the break.